Now let's see how to program other options on the Fuel Scan 450. To get into the program mode, hold both the step and auto buttons for a few seconds until you see program mode and then fuel no. We will skip the fuel questions and proceed to the next option. Tap step. You will see rate equals 4. This is how long in seconds the lower display pauses at each parameter during the automatic scan. If you want the scan to go faster, reduce the pause time to 3, 2, or 1 second by tapping Auto. If you want to increase the pause time, hold the Auto button until you reach the desired number of seconds to pause. If you set the rate parameter to 0, there will be no automatic scan. When you are finished selecting the Scan Pause parameter, tap Step a number of times to exit. The K factor is the number of pulses the fuel flow sensor generates for each gallon of fuel. It is a factory determined constant for each transducer, but sometimes the particular fuel lines in your aircraft will require you to slightly modify the factory programmed K factor. To change the K factor automatically, first make a note of the amount of fuel you actually used to top the tanks on the most recent flight. Be sure the engine is not running during this setup. This is how you set or change the K-Factor. Hold both the Step and Auto buttons simultaneously for a few seconds until you see the words Program Mode for a second and then Fuel No. Tap Step twice and see the current K-Factor. Now with the current K-Factor shown, hold both Step and Auto until you see Auto K-Factor No. Tap Auto to change this to Auto K-Factor Yes. Then tap Step. You should see a number such as 34.5 True. If you see Shut Engine, it means that the engine is running and you must shut down the engine during this setup. Using the Auto button, change this value to the actual amount of fuel you use to top the tanks during the most recent flight. Hold or tap Auto to increase or decrease the value. Then tap Step. Tap Step a few times to exit. You can elect to accumulate the total fuel used during a multi-leg, multi-fuel stop flight rather than reset the fuel used to zero every time you refuel. The default is to not accumulate, that is to reset the amount of fuel used at every refueling. Here is how to select the accumulate mode. Hold both the step and auto button simultaneously for a few seconds until you see the words program mode for a second and then fuel no. Tap step three times and see trip no. Tap auto to change to trip yes. Tap step a few times to exit. You can select the display brightness in the dim mode. The display will automatically dim when the ambient light striking the sensor is low. In high ambient light, the display is always at full brightness. This is how you set the low brightness level. Hold both the step and auto button simultaneously for a few seconds until you see the words program mode for a second and then fuel no. Tap step five times and see minimum brightness setting. Hold a piece of doubled up electrical tape over the light sensor. This will dim the display. Hold or tap auto to change the brightness level. You will see the display getting dimmer and brighter. Select the dim level you like and tap step a few times to exit. You can set up various options in your Fuel Scan 450. You should only have to do this once when you first install the instrument. You can set the fuel units in gallons, liters, or pounds. You can tell the Fuel Scan 450 how much fuel your main tank holds, and if you have auxiliary tanks and how much they hold. You can program the low fuel alarms for both time and quantity. You can also tell the Fuel Scan 450 if you have a carbureted engine or not, and if you have an additional fuel return transducer. To get into the setup mode, hold both the step and auto button simultaneously for a few seconds until you see the words program mode for a second and then fuel no. Tap step until you see end yes. Again, hold both the step and auto button simultaneously for a few seconds until you see setup, then the version number, then the fuel units. Here are the steps to use to change a parameter value. To change the fuel units, tap Auto until you see the units you want to use. To change the total capacity of the main tanks, hold or tap Auto to change the display to the desired tank capacity, then tap Step. 
If you have auxiliary tanks or tabs, set auxiliary no to auxiliary yes, then tap step. You will see auxiliary equals zero. Set the auxiliary tank capacity or the difference between full tanks and the top of the tabs, then tap step. You can step through the remaining options. When you get to the option you want to change, use the auto button to change the value, then tap step to continue. When you see end yes, tap step one more time and you will see set and then the fuel scan 450 will resume normal operation. This completes this video of how to use and program your fuel scan 450. With the fuel scan 450 acting as your flight engineer, you can enjoy precision fuel monitoring and management. JPI is a leader in precision engine performance monitoring. Our expertise is built into the fuel scan 450. Our patented technology provides the alarms, displays, and sampling algorithms that give you hands-free, must-know information. JP Instruments is delighted that you selected the FuelScan 450 for your aircraft. We invite you to call us if you have technical questions.